Something that also comes to mind, um, that one of the biggest things that, that people ask me about is how to have those difficult conversations. I think for a lot of managers, again, because a lot of them are not trained to have those conversations. So any tips on like, how do you have a hard conversation? Because I see a lot of that being swapped under the rug until the person is just not performing anymore, for example. And now it's just time we're just talking about pips or letting them go. So it's yeah. like, you know, how, how, do you, how do you become proactive about that? I think you have to have build in more conversations. For me and my vantage point, have more one-on-ones, some of them production-oriented, and by that I mean work product related. Some of them more casual, but definitely point out as a manager, as a leader of people, let's go over your expectations. You're falling short here. Make sure you take notes. I'm not saying, you know, from an HR standpoint, HR people are going to tell you to document everything. But be on track with. If I've got to tell you the same thing three, four times, all right, we've had this conversation three or four times, things haven't changed, or maybe things have changed in a drastic direction all of a sudden and the behaviors and activities have changed. Hey, I'm noticing some changes going on here. I'm a little troubled by it. I want to voice these concerns now so that's not a surprise for anybody down the road. Our expectations are X and Y and Z. They always have been, and we want to be very clear about that. I want to know, is there something else going on that's interrupting or getting in the way of you achieving this? Right? Are there roadblocks or obstacles I can help you with? Is this really you just not buckling down and you need a little breather 